Hey guys, welcome to Diecast Reviews. Today, I'll be doing something a little bit different, uh, as you can see in the description, or the title. Down below, I'll be doing like a Demolition Derby Racers Overview. So I've got all the Devil Derby Racers right over here to the side. And I'll be showing them off one by one, kind of like an overview. I've wanted to do this, to do this ever since I reviewed Fair Game. So we're going to do it today. And you know, I might do this for some... Other things as well, like uh, Piston Cup Racers. I want to do, once Mattel releases all the next gens, I want to do, like, a Cars 1 to Cars 3 stock car to Cars 3 next gen tra transition video. I think that'd be kind of cool, but obviously I'm just to release all the next gens first. So, yeah, I'll we'll get right into it with uh, Cruz Ramirez and Lightning McQueen. Lightning McQueen has Chester Ripple Filter, Cruz Ramirez as France's Beltline. Kind of just quickly, not review them, just kind of quickly show them. So this is obviously Lightning McQueen Dash, just a ripple filter, the rubber tire version. Very nice. And this is Cruz Ramirez as France's belt line. This is the Super Chase version. So it's got a matte finish. That looks pretty nice. Number 20 on the side there. Can't really see the license plate. But yeah, I really like the matte finish on her. So yeah, that's the two right there. Not really Dumbo Derby uh, regulars. So we'll just kind of glance through them quickly. Move on to Miss Fritter. Yeah, I'll do it now, because why not? Miss Fritter here. This is like the original one that came out right as soon as the movie came out that I did a review on. Um, so it's not matte, and the stop sign is a little different than what is the version that you could probably find, the latest version of her. But other than that, she's basically the same. A big, big school bucks bus, <laughs> Miss Fritter. Obviously, very excited. We all were very excited when she was, like, announced and released. Uh, we didn't know her role in the movie quite yet. But when her first, like, picture came out, and we didn't know about the demo debut, it was a lot of speculation, let's put it that way. But, uh, yeah, Miss Fred, a pretty cool character there. Um, in the demo derby, obviously the main competitor in the demo derby, and, you know, the champion, the one who always wins. But, yeah, pretty cool. So let's move on to the next one here. Let's move on to RV. Here, obviously, the RV who appears, who, uh, you know, battles in the demo derby. Got pretty cool design. Uh, number zero, zero. I guess I'll go through the numbers that they are as well. McQueen is number 15. Cruz is number 20. I didn't do this numerically, but I could have. Uh, Miss Fitter is number 58. And RV is number zero, zero. So, obviously, all beat up, smashed up. You can see kind of the back is smashed in right there, all around the tire, which is actually perfect. Ah, kind of a little smashed in the middle, but it's all smashed up right there, all dented up along the side. Mizzle did a really good job with all these demo derby cars. Smashed up in the roof. So, again, this isn't a review of, you know, or a showcase of the fans or anything like that. It's just strictly the racers. You can see there's some stuff on the uh, uh, tire there. Honk, oh, I think it says honk if your horn works. Cargo, caution, something. And there's the license plate. So yeah, that's RV. It looks very nice. Let's move on to the next one. We have Dr. Damage here. The ambulance. Obviously, he's number five, although it says Rambulance on the front there. So Rambulance, kind of like, is it Ambulance? And then you put the R there. Probably used to be an ambulance, kind of like RV, just a normal RV, and Miss Fritter was probably a school bus at one point. But yeah, number five there. We've got the uh, medical logo right there, right there, and right uh, there somewhere. It's kind of painted over on that side. Got like the, uh, I think this is like heart monitor, and it's like he's alive and he's dead, I think. Uh, I think that's kind of what that's supposed to represent. Rambo skull chained up in the back. We open to put the patient in. Got some lights though on the top. Still in very good shape for being smashed up. He's kind of got like a stance, kinda like a downward stance. There is the nice. He's all muddy on the bottom, which looks pretty cool. So yeah, that is Doctor Damage. <clears throat> Next we move on. We'll move on to Todd the Pizza Planet Truck, who doesn't have a number. And now this was the one that was released with the Cars 3 release. It was like a Walgreens exclusive or something like that. Uh, so he was the one released with the Cars 3 release. But he's all shiny and not dented. And then this was the Cars 1 version of Todd. Here, uh, released for Cars 1. 
in the Race Rama series and also in 2014. I think this is the 2014 version. But uh, he's all, you know, he's all muddy. He looks, he fits in better with the uh, demo derby cars in my opinion. Although they both do have a dent right there. But yeah, this guy, this one uh, fits in more with the uh, demo derby cars in my opinion. So but yeah, both of them are basically the same. But he's all clean here, which makes no sense to be competing in the demo derby and be all clean. So yeah, there's Todd. Obviously a fan favorite. The Pizza Planet truck. Let's roll you out because you're technically not a car. At least, yeah, Pizza a favorite appeared in every Pixar movie except one. So yeah, there is a Todd. Doesn't have a last name, just Todd. Uh, here is a Fair Game, who I talked about in the beginning of the video. Uh, the last demo derby racer to be released by Mattel. I don't know why it took him so long. He was canceled in I believe 2017. But they released a mini racer version of him. But uh, yeah, there's Fair Game. Number 42. Crash only. I did a review of this guy very recently if you want to go check it out. But we'll go through him. Crash only. New York taxi kind of style. Um, looks very, very nice. Checkerboard there. And he also has kind of like, he's kind of got a weird stance where he's pointed down. But he's also like leaning towards one side a little bit. I don't know, but yeah, all dented up as well. Yellow, I love, I love Fair Game. He's very nice. Fortunate that they released him last because he's a very, very nice uh, demo derby racer. Uh, next up, we have Taco here, who was one of the first ones to be released, actually. But uh, you can see he's kind of called a taco because he's kind of got that shape of a taco. Looks like he was smashed up in the front, smashed up in the back. He is number four. He does, this guy does have a matte finish. Uh, Fair Game actually kind of has a glossy finish, kind of surprising. Not as glossy as Miss Fritter, but not as matte as, like, Cruz or Todd. Not really matte finishes, but yeah. Let's see, what does it say in there? It says, Ward's Toy. 5550124. Don't think that's a real number, but I don't know. Maybe you can try, actually don't try to call it. Um... Here we've got these black markings on the wheel. As most demo derby cars do have some, or brown markings, I should say, have some markings on the wheels. But yeah, Taco looks very nice. He's probably one of my more favorite demo derby racers. So let's move on to the next one. We've got a uh, high impact here. Released in a two pack with Jimbo, who I'll show later. That's pretty nice. Number 12, you've got Cosmonaut, uh, which is like Astronaut, on the uh, front there. You've got Steve's Tool Barn with, a number, number, uh, the, bleh, with another number that also starts with 555. Five, five. This one only has uh, yeah, 0151. Steve's Tool Barn. There it is, the other side. And Cosmonaut's only painted on that side for some reason. But there you go, number 12. I do like the uh, red or green and orange. That uh, looks kind of nice. Oh, we have Cosmonaut right there. You don't have it right there. You have it right there. Interesting, but there you go. Orange and green. Very, very nice. Look very nice together. You've got orange wheels in the front. And you've got green wheels in the back. Very nice. There's some dents. Simulated dents. Yeah, high impact. Looks very, very nice. Uh, kind of like a demo derby car shape. An old sedan-like. Moving on, we have Airborne here who was released in the Walmart uh, set that they had where uh, Just Ripple Filter was released where they all had rubber tires and came with some like pit barrier or something like that. And Airborne was released in there, and he, but he was also released this year, you can see rubber tires, <clears throat> in a plastic version. Airborne looks very, very sad. Number 90 there, and he's uh, yellow, green, and blue. Nice mix of colors. But he really doesn't have anything going for him. He's just kind of a little plain. No, you know, sponsors or anything like that. You've got the yellow wheels in the front, blue wheels in the back. Number 90. I like the uh, stripes in the back there. You know, yeah, I'm very sad looking. Got some yellow paint, which I think is supposed to be there. Yeah, you can see he's got really big wheels in the back. Kind of got a stance as well. Most of these, some of these demo derby cars do have a stance. It's kind of interesting. Got Fair Game with a stance. Got Dr. Damage with a stance. Uh, there's some 
There's a couple more that will have a stance that I'll show you. Yeah, that's that. Oops, got the camera. So moving on, we've got T-Bone, who is very funny. I like him. I like T-Bone because obviously not one well, very straight, and he made it so he doesn't roll straight. I see in the movie doesn't roll straight because he's got hit once here. Got hit hard here. Looks like kind of cracked him. So I can't really roll straight. Number 45. T bone. T dot bone there on the uh, roof. We got we got a lot of signs and we've got truck route. We've got the hubcap right there. It says park right there. I've got uh, California street sign. 45 speed limit. See number four, he's number 45, so it makes sense for him to have a 45 speed limit sign there. Another 45 sign there, another hubcap, it looks like dead end. And nothing on the roof there, but you can kind of see where he's cracked right there. Very nice. A lot of detail on T-Bone. He's probably one of my favorite demo derby racers, and he looks he looks ready. Look at this pose. Like, looking at here, he looks, you look like he's just, like, parked, and he's ready to, uh, like, go do something very determined. But then you turn him to the side, and he's all beat up smashed up and yeah he really was kind of funny so yeah t-bone pretty cool but he was only released in a five pack exclusive to walmart so he's one of the rare demo derby cars moving on we have pile up he's pretty cool as well as you can see he looks normal but then you go to the back he's got another face on the back and he kind of he probably got smashed up right here moved all this to the top and he painted another face on there very nice he's number 11 looks like he had like a stamp or something or um probably like a, a decal and he like spray painted it so some upsplash here but it's nice and clean right there number 11 he's got some flames in the front i really like that where he's got like red and it goes to flames and it goes to green nice christmasy colors on him and i think he was actually released towards christmas uh in 2017 when he did come out so that's kind of fitting but yeah, looks very nice. Great like pile up, and pile up's another one that's pretty cool. Kind of underrated, in my opinion, honestly. Pile up is. Uh, there's a lot of demo derby, demo derby cars that are kind of underrated, but no, maybe not a lot, lot, but pile up, pile up is one that I think is underrated. <clears throat> Moving on, we have push over here. Number sixteen. He kind of looks like a tiger or something with the uh, red and yellow, or red and orange and yellow coloring. And the teeth in the front. He's got a sponsor. This uh that parts boutique. Right there. This is that parts boutique number 16. Totaled and proud of it. Okay, then. Uh you can see there's his face. Very happy about it. Obviously, he's happy to be totaled. There's the face. But yeah, he's got teeth in the front, so that's kinda cool. Kinda look like they're eating his tire. So yeah, this is that parts boutique right there. Number 16. Love the uh, red and orange. I mean, red, orange, and yellow. I, mean, I guess there's some red, maybe not really. Kind of more brownish would be more of an accurate color, uh, way to describe that. Okay, orange, yellow, brownish. Got some black in the front there. He's got. He's obviously all mangled in the front, really. Kind of mangled in the back as well, but really mangled towards the front. Because, yeah, pushover. He's kind of cool. Moving this way. Moving on, we have a Jambalaya Chimichanga, who was also released in the uh, same set as airborne and some others it was also released in a single this year or she i'm not actually really that sure um yeah he's got or she's got polka dots all over him or her or whatever uh, and uh, jambalaya on one side chimichanga on the other there's the base and they've got uh, all four different colors you've got yellow and green in the front and red and blue in the back got Red, green, yellow, blue polka dots on the white body. Pretty nice. Obviously very determined there. Yeah, I don't know. People, I mean, like, I can see why some people would like this. But honestly, for me, it's a little boring. Like, sure, it's polka dots. But, I mean, I don't know. Like, it's kind of like airborne. It just got colors on it. And it, really nothing else going for it. So, I don't know. Giant Black. I can see why some people think it's... Or, you know, why some people think of it as one of their favorites. But not for me, I really... I mean, it's, it's a nice car. I like all the Demo Derby cars. But really not one of my favorites. Okay, he's number 27. No number on the roof there. So, moving on. We've got Patty. It's a spunky little uh, Demo Derby racer. Probably one of the smallest. 
number 74. Released around the same time as, like, a pile up here, a broadside, and a bunch of others. They were all released around the same time, late 2017. Yeah, there's Patty. Actually, two different variations of it, and the one I have is this one. See how, like, the mouth is, like, part of the base almost kind of funny, but yeah, you can see there she is. Number 74 with a black dot, uh, black circle and the white letters. Just white 74 right there. 74. Uh, you can see rest in peace. Obviously a play on rest or rust in peace. A play on rest in peace. Got black wheels in the back. So they're just not painted. And then white wheels in the front that are painted. You can see the 74 is painted differently on both sides. Which is pretty cool. Yeah, Patty. Spunky little car, you got like a W with an M in the back, whichever way you look at it. But yeah, pretty cool. Uh, demo Derby car is Patty, but again, not one of my favorites. I'll probably tell you my favorites at the end of the video. Moving on, we've got Fishtail here, who also has a kind of a stance. He's a pretty cool muscle car. Who has a muscle car look at least. Number 96. You can see he has Bill written there. Probably for Wild Bill Racing Cones. That looks to be his sponsor. Wild Bills. Let's see where's it say right there? Yeah, racing cones. You got 96, and you've got some like fish tailing, I guess, going on in the back. I just turn a car like goes like this. This is called fish tailing. Um, it gets like loose over some patch of ice or whatever. But yeah, I really like the color on fish tail. The uh, orange and the like teal look very nice together. They work very nice. But uh, I don't know if I really like the design, like the car model himself of Fishtail, but I do like the muscle car look on it, so it looks pretty cool. The stance is kind of interesting, but it works on Fishtail. 96, obviously. There's the uh, red radiator or whatever. I've got some smokestacks, pretty big smokestacks for him, honestly. Bigger than others. But yeah. Kind of got like a little spoiler back here. Fishtail, Fishtail is pretty cool. He was also released around the same time as, like, Patty and Pile Up. Moving on, we got Liability, who was also released in a rubber tire release, but then was also released earlier this year. Got, like, some markings there, probably for all the cars she's totaled. Got something right there, I think it says Seek and Destroy. Yeah, Seek and Destroy. And you've got like a missile or a rocket going to seek and destroy. It looks like a child painted it, but you know, we're not, yeah. Now you colored in correctly. Number 77. I do like the colors. Purple and green look very nice together, and I think they work on this car. Uh, rubber tires. See right there? They are rubber tires. Yeah, she looks pretty nice. I like how the uh, suspension here is raised in the front, like, uh, liability's been crashed into something, and now it's broken in the front, I think that looks pretty cool. Yeah, let's move liability away. Moving on to the next one, we're getting close to the end here, here's, kind of close to the end, here's Superfly, another one, same dealio as liability, releases rubber tire, and then released this year. Number 72, he's also got a pretty big stance. You can see the original Superfly. So is there a copy of a Superfly now or whatever? But yeah, you can see Superfly there get wrecked. Um, number 72. Really huge smokestacks in the front. The whole engine is actually exposed on him. Blue, yellow. And yeah, these colors look nice together. Like blue, yellow, green work together. Got like a wooden spoiler back here. Painted like a wooden spoiler. But yeah, also rubber tires. I like the uh, blue and green tires. Yeah, I think blue and green tires work. I like how Superfly looks, the colors, um, but the uh, design, like the car itself, I don't know. But yeah, 72. Uh, let's move on to Captain America Sigalert. A very Captain America vibes from this guy here, number 22. Very patriotic. Number 22, obviously, like I said, I don't know why I keep repeating myself with these numbers, but you can see he's also kind of got like the same thing going on as liability. Yeah, they've got the uh, thing, like the front is raised off the ground. It's the same, it's the left front. 
the Sigler's kind of got both tires raised up off the ground, but this one seems to be a little more. Actually, maybe not, but he's kind of got like a backwards stance. But yeah, very Captain America vibes. You got Take It on the front there uh, with the red stripes, and you've got like a star on a blue background. Very, I mean, this is, you know, very Captain American. Bring it. Yeah, very patriotic. See the stars on the wheels there. But yeah, Sigler here. Very nice. I like the patriotic look on him. So it has to bring him to the top for me. So yeah, let's move on. We've got... Oh, no, Tailgate does not want to be reviewed. Here's Tailgate. Number 88. 88, the Greasy Grill Barbecue. The Greasy Grill Barbecue, bring the pain. Is what it says on the back of tailgate. Yeah, number 88, pink. I like the pink on her. Red is where the numbers are. They're on a red background. Uh, with white stripes all over her. I think it's her. Um, in the package, she's got like a uh, eyelash right here. So, but yeah, tailgate. I like the pink. Looks pretty nice. Kind of got another muscle car look. The engine popped up right there. Half and half wheels with white and black. So yeah, tailgate looks very nice. I do like tailgate here. Yeah, let's move on. That's the pink car. I like the pink car. Pink, uh, pink looks nice. And uh, yeah, I think it works on tailgate. Here's Jimbo. This is Jimbo the second, apparently. But uh, he was released in a two-pack. As I hit just about everything there is to hit. Uh, he was released in a two-pack with a high impact. Uh, Sigler was released single, and then he was released in a two-pack, but I think blind spot, maybe? I think I'm right. I think, I, I think it was blind spot, anyways. Um, yeah, I'm almost certain it was blind spot. But yeah, Jimbo here, I mean, he he's awesome. He looks he looks very nice. Like, we go to the front here, you got some teeth there. Mean look. He's obviously dented up a little bit if you just look at that part. He's also got like a backwards stance, honestly. He's number 13, unlucky, or lucky number 13, I should say, Jimbo. The second. 13 got some wanted uh, writing on the back, and then his whole bed is just absolutely destroyed. I mean, look at that. It's very nice detail on the cell part. It's absolutely junked, all caved in. You got some dents and scratches right there. This whole thing scratched up, bang banged up, beat up. Look at that, it looks awesome. I love the detail that uh, Mattel put into this. Got the wheels in the back kind of come out. No fenders in the back, I guess, but yeah. Jimbo, very nice, just for the rear. But he's got a very interesting front stance. Moving on, we've got the police car, APB. So we've got the uh, ambulance, we've got the police car, now we need a fire truck. Uh, but uh, obviously there was none in the movie. The law. For APB, you've got obviously the blue headlight or blue light is missing, but that is correct. That's how she was released. She is number 54. You can run, but I think it's supposed to say something like you can't hide, but whatever. It says you can run. Okay. Got the law 54 on the side, beat up in the front. Really kind of probably one of the more not so beat up cars, one of the more cleaner cars, I guess. The yeah, APB looks pretty nice. One of the earlier ones released as well. Yeah, so that is APB. Let's move on to probably a very big fan favorite here. You've got Bill. I mean, just Pixar all over the place. You've got the Luxo ball in the front. 86 is when Pixar was, uh, I think that's when Pixar started, right? Because Chick is 86 for that reason. 95 was when their first movie came out. I think that's right. I should probably know this. Very important number in Pixar history, but whatever. Uh, yeah, 86 for Pixar reasons, and obviously the Luxo Ball, the big Pixar, Pixar Easter egg. It's got the Luxo ball, ball. He's painted Pixar colors, or Luxo Ball colors. It looks awesome. Yeah, definitely one of my favorite ones. He was also released in the rubber tire set. Oops, that was not supposed to come off. Look at that. That's pretty cool. But um, the rubber tire set, and then a uh, single uh, plastic tire release this year. Let's do that. There we go. But yeah, Bill. Bill looks very nice. I love the Luxo ball on him. So he's definitely one of my favorite. And the orange and yellow or yellow and blue with the uh, for the Luxo ball colors look awesome. So yeah, that is Bill. Got no I guess four more, technically three more left is hit and run. 
Put all together. They are, or Bill, like I said, yeah, 86. These guys are like, I guess, one and two. Um, they're actually not the same, which was very surprising to me when I opened them. You can see Hit here is bigger than Run, but I mean, I guess Hit has to be bigger to be stronger to hit, and Run has to be smaller to run quickly. I don't know. But yeah, Run is kind of caved in towards the side here. You can see how the wheel's sticking out. You got the dented hood in the front there. I like, I really like how he's caved in the side. And then Hit's kind of caved in on the other side. Not as much, though. He's kind of cleaner. But they both look to be like the same model. Just one's bigger than the other. Yeah, Hit, Hit. Run appears to have taken more impact. Which is a little strange considering Hit is the one doing all the hitting. Yeah, hit and Run, they were released in a two-pack with each other. We've got two more left. We've got Blind Spot here. Another fan favorite just because of her colors also has a stand so you've got number 10 she's number 10 got the mystic body shop and dent something s v c or something dent me is what it says on the back mystic body shop it doesn't say the dent thing or whatever but uh yeah, you've got stars all over the place blue nice blue color with a pink and red kind of kind of red not really lighting just made it look red yeah hold it up right there it kind of looked red but yeah i mean kind of red in the front it looks like a different more of a hot pink i guess this is just a pink but yeah nice pink and blue purple wheels in the back blue in the front yeah blind spot looks pretty nice another one of the uh, favorites for me so yeah that's blind spot and we've got the last one and uh last and i mean maybe least maybe not here's a broad side he looks decent. He looks okay. I don't know. Probably not my favorite. He's also maybe got a little teeny stance going for him, but probably not. Number 25. Got this thing covering his bed in the back. Looks very unstable and probably will crash. And you've got a flip me over thing. So when you put him upside down, it says flip me over. So obviously it's meant to be that way. Yeah. He looks, he looks okay. He looks pretty cool though. All the WRV cars are pretty cool, but yeah, no, the blue one, blue, nice deep blue color, only one of this color, but yeah, that is a broadside, number 25, so that is all for the Demo Derby Showcase, I'll put up a few of my favorites up on the uh, turntable here to end it off, we've got Fair Game, has to be a favorite, Sigler, Bill, uh, Pile Up, I said it's kind of underrated, and Kind of agree with that. I think he's pretty cool. And uh, why not Todd? I've got so many of them. Hi, uh, table on here. And why not? Let's squeeze Jimbo in there. You could probably keep going. I probably could put Hit and Run on here and Miss Fritter. Uh, let's put Hit and Run. These are the... Uh, yeah, so you probably could put Fishdale on here as well. Okay, let's do it. Why not? Here we go. Uh, yeah, I've got a large list of Demo Derby favorites. I, I like a lot of them. But yeah, so that should do it for my Demo Derby showcase i hope you guys enjoyed the video i'll probably do more of these on my channel um but we'll see so yeah thanks for watching i've got some very exciting stuff coming up uh so you're gonna want to stay tuned so hit that subscribe button like this video comment i'll make this video not for kids we'll see how youtube takes that uh experiment with that and maybe i'll bring back the comment feature um, on my channel but yeah um write a comment like the video subscribe to not miss out on any future videos and share it and uh, yeah thanks for watching and i hope you and I hope I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.